Yep. Three, two, one. The introduction was all about who. It was all about Lorenzo. Remember, I asked you to find out how many facts we put in that first paragraph. I think we got to 16 or 17 of them. We knew he was loving. We knew he was a grandfather. We knew he liked coffee, Arabica coffee. We know he liked double strength. He liked toast, thick, light, jam, 60 years old. We know that he was frustrated. We know he made lots of phone calls. We know he's a myrmecologist. We know that he believes that something bad is going to happen to the area. All that was in the introduction. So we laid out the problem. We told the reader that he was in the kitchen. We told them what he does and all that stuff. You've got to think hard about filling your introduction with as much information as you can. Rachel's done a writing course for authors with a professional mob from England over the internet. And they say, Rachel, chapter one, what's the job of chapter one? Introduce your character. Introduce your character. Lay it out. Get all the detail. Your, your chapter one is like your shop window. It's got to attract buyers, attract customers. Your first paragraph has to attract readers. Okay? So, I would say every single story I've read from school, I, I'm not attracted. Okay? Because the, the kids aren't skilled enough to write a great story. You guys are getting there. What we read here this morning was brilliant. It really was. I honestly felt I wanted to read more about those characters and what was going on. In this next paragraph, we've got a flashback. Just, just cluing the reader in. By the way, Lorenzo is upset and he thinks that Megan's going to die because here's a flashback of a couple weeks ago. Why do we do that? There are many ways to write a short story. If you look at modern ones on the internet that are considered classics and brilliant, to me, they're nonsense. They make no sense. I don't get them. I read them and I go, what was that about? So what we've given you is a style, a method, a structure that works. Why does the flashback come next? It's because of this. Depending on your grade, you only have 300 to 500 words. It's not enough to establish all these uh, elements for a great story. I think 2,000, 3,000, maybe 5,000 words would be better. But school doesn't ask you to do that. So the flashback is just a tool. It's a little trick to give the reader more details about here's the problem. Okay, This is why this character is in this problem. Make sense? That's what it's about. So we've given you a very clever structure. Let's move on now to the where paragraph. Now, you'll need the yellow sheets in a moment. Let's have a look first. We've got Gemmel and the where star. When I prepared it, I wanted to switch the two around. Still my where, but I felt this one needed them switched. Okay? So I'm going to do this bit first. Let's have a read of the uh, Mary one first. The classroom bathed in an ominous atmosphere that chilled Mary's spine. What you're going to find, I've got a sentence down here that matches it very closely, just like you've been doing. For those who might be a little bit lost on their homework, you're trying to match that and this with your own example. So you're, you will be taking home two examples. Anticipation hung in the air. Whiteboards and pinboards became silent witnesses about to watch the unfolding plan. A gentle breeze whispered across the students' heads. A knife of sunlight sliced across the worn indigo carpet became a tiny spear point, then disappeared. And for my wear star, across the room, her accomplices, those who were helping her, looked up and nodded in recognition of the perfectly planned strategy with several of them licking their lips while sharpening their weapons. HB pencils, wooden, sturdy, dependable. Okay, here comes Lorenzo's wear star. Through the kitchen, that's my wear star, and across the living room, so I've done a double. Lorenzo's computer equipment and assorted detection devices whirred with a silent hum. He dialed up the volume on the retro radio, sitting on the kitchen sill before clutching his breakfast heading toward the balcony, giving the reader a very clear picture of what Lorenzo's doing. He's turned up his radio, picked up his breakfast, heading out. This is all the where. Now comes the gemmel bit. This is the hard one, but you will see it matches it. The street was bathed 
in an eerie anxiety that caused the myrmecologist to shudder. See, the classroom bathed in an atmosphere that chilled Mary's um, spine, ominous atmosphere. Anticipation hung in the air. Anticipation hung in the air. It works. Maybe not this week or the next. Maybe not even a month from now. But the big one was coming. He was sure. Telephone poles and brick homes became silent witnesses. It's like up there, whiteboards and pit boards became silent witnesses. Would they withstand the ferocity of Mother Nature? A breeze lifted off the ground, caressing a few dried leaves swirling at his feet. A gentle breeze whispered across the students' heads. Uh, Gecko scampered into the crevices of the bricks, escaping the day's heat. A knife of sunlight sliced across the worn indigo carpet. So you can see, I've taken the ideas from Gemmel and I've replicated them, giving them my own twist to suit my story. Okay? Hands up out of five. Give me an indication of how much you can see. Oh, yeah, they are similar. Hands up. Five, yeah, I see it, Mr. C. Zero being, no, they're not. They're nothing like it. <coughs> so we've got fours, fives, fives. Or, okay, you can all see it. Good. We have a saying in scribbling, when you see better, you do better. So, you have on this sheet, Mary's example. Okay? You are now going to copy Lorenzo's example. And then for homework, try and replicate it doing your own. I apologise, I forgot to put the correct headings here. So, can you please change this here to where and then Gemmel. Okay? So grab your sheets, they're at your tables. The helpers have put them out for you this morning. Your homework is also on your tables. Can you please go through your pile and check your marked homework? All right, let's write out. And when we're done, we're over to our skills. Fantastic, guys. So if you missed the lesson, we are doing the where paragraph now. Do your best. Make sure you bring it to us next week if you haven't been here this week. Adios, muchachos.